Hey guys, uh, I recently got some messages, uh, kind of just asking if I was okay, because uh, I haven't done any content or anything for a couple of months now. Um, so I wanted to just do a quick video uh, and update you guys on what's happening, uh, why there hasn't been any new content, uh, when I'm planning on doing new content, and uh, yeah, just to kind of, I don't know, keep you guys updated I suppose so let's start that the first thing those of you who know the channel well might recognize is that this stuff has not moved uh, to my new Warhammer room uh, basically everything's still um, in a little bit of disrepair um, in my old Warhammer room um, yeah so I'll give you an update on that room uh, more of my stuff here still in the uh, in the old place basically Coen Brothers uh, box set there recommend I actually haven't bought any new models I haven't painted any new models and I haven't played any 40k for the last um, two months so um basically just other things have got in the way you know I've got two young kids I've got a two-year-old and a four-year-old I've got a, a, a partner who you know I try and spend time with also as lockdown has been easing uh, in the UK anyway I've basically been trying to spend more time with friends like go out and things and go to pubs and like I don't know, get get back to normality a little bit. And honestly, I think that's been really good for me to do. I, I recommend doing that if you're able to. Um, I think I found lockdown a bit tougher than I kind of initially thought I was doing. Um, so yeah, number one reason for not making any contact, content is I've kind of been going out and doing things and seeing people a little bit. So um, this is what I planned to be my Warhammer room so far. Um, I basically got sick of working from home in my living room and even though the room isn't finished We actually just had this room plastered. I think I showed you guys some of the wet plaster So it's got that it's like really smooth finish, but we just haven't finished decorating the room um, So it's got a kind of Berlin squat party kind of vibe to it now um, I don't know if you guys also do uh, but I like to make some digital music uh, so I've got some very basic kit here um, and I've also got my work computer here. Um, on the subject of work, I don't know if you guys know, um, but you know, I, I work in the games industry, I'm a producer in the games industry, and I, I recently accepted a new job and I'm kind of preparing to transition into that soon as well. So that's been another thing that's kind of has stopped me making one of my videos a bit, I suppose. Um, the other reason, uh, it's kind of a more practical thing, uh, that I haven't made any is and it's kind of something that's been very popular for people in the UK to do during lockdown it turns out um, it's not a very original idea but uh, I've been converting a van into a camper van and this is not don't worry this is not going to become a van conversion channel uh, I actually deliberately didn't record any videos and things of doing it because I feel like there's just way more than enough YouTube channels out there about van converting if you've looked at any you'll know what I mean um, so I basically bought a what used to be a furniture delivery van big silver long wheelbase uh, Volkswagen crafter they're very similar to sprinters if you know them Mercedes sprinters um, and it was just ply lined it had a bulkhead in the front and uh, I did everything with it and this is how it looks now um, it's I did the windows I did the ladders at the back I did the vent at the top I've done what else? All the cladding inside. Um, I've started doing shelves and things. I'm about to install a diesel heater. I've installed swivel seats, so we've got a seating area. I paid someone to install uh, kid seats at the back. I've made these, um, what are they called? Like seats that can be extended out into a double bed. It's gonna be like super king size bed, that's the plan. Um, and I've done all the electrics. I've, I did film some of the electrics that I did because um, it was just super satisfying. I installed the leisure battery and like the voltage sensitive relay and the fuse box and everything. And um, so I, I don't know about you guys, but I, I've, I've got a funny thing where I hate being able to see the, the source of a light. <laughs> that sounds weird when I say it out loud. But yeah, I like to see the resultant light rather than the reason the light's there in everything actually. Um, and so I'd seen there was these things like cornice uplighters um, and I wanted to recreate that. So I basically, this is probably the, the thing that I think is the coolest that I've done so far with the van. 
is I basically created um, an entire uh, strip with some cladding and it helps to have a lot of the woodworking tools um, and then put some aluminium foil strip on it and stuck some LEDs on it and then this is how it looks in the end. Um, I'm really happy with it. <laughs> Um, yeah, sorry there's a Warhammer channel and I'm talking about van converting. <laughs> so many unsubscribes going to be happening. But, you know, I just wanted to be honest with you guys about why I haven't made any content. Basically, if I get free time, I'm doing the van because I want it to be finished for the summer so that I, me and my family can use it. Because, to be honest, realistically, we're probably not going to be able to go flying abroad on holiday and things like that. Not that we did that that much anyway, but, you know, at least now we can go off and camp places and sleep places and... Things like that. So these, those were the images and things. Um, I'm gonna step in the van now and I'll give you guys a little walk around, I suppose. Actually, uh, before we go to the van, I just wanna give a shout out to this bench saw. I got this on e oh, noisy birds. I got this on eBay for like 90 quid. I think they were originally like 300 quid, but honestly, it's so good. If you don't know how you use it, you basically like chop down. Oh, it's locked, but yeah, so good. It makes woodwork so quick. There's the noisy bird. So um, this is looking backwards in the van. Um, it could be better with a wider angle, but I haven't got one. So these are the beds here. Uh, it's currently in a bit of a state of disrepair because I'm basically, you know, doing it continuously. Um, this is my shelving unit that I kind of made uh, yesterday. I actually used a boat building technique uh, in order to get that curve right. And I just duplicated it for the one on this side. And you can see it's got a bit of a bigger gap. Uh, but yeah, that's going okay. Um, here are the kids' seats that I had someone install. These are the windows. These, oh, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll move to the other end. Uh, I'm going to do like carpet on the back doors. Um, what else? The uh, roof vents, they're kind of cool because they've got these, like, it's open now, so it opens like all the way if you wanted to. It's a bit stiff, but yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I like to have ventilation going because one of them leaked. That one in the front actually leaked. Um, and I had to like patch it up, but what's cool is you can like put that blind across. This is the same on both of them, or you can, uh, there's mos mosquitoes coming. You can do that. Happy days. Uh, so yeah, looking forward. Those three seats at the front, they all rotate. And you can get these like, um, I think they're called cab bunks or something, um, where you can basically put like bunk beds on, uh, on rotated seats which is really cool. Um, so instead of installing beds like that are gonna be permanent for the kids, I'm basically gonna um, put like two bunk beds on there, bought. Uh, yeah, so basically that's, <laughs> oh, I'll show you the light. I'll tell you, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I've put the battery on the kill switch. And uh, if anyone knows what they're looking at, they're probably gonna think this is horrible. But uh, anyway, I've got a kill switch with a leisure battery. So now everything should be powered up. Um, I've got a switch down here, I have to just put the camera down, I think if everything's working that should show you like the voltage and things that's going on, yeah it's not really well rotated, but here you go, whoops, so here you go, real time, I think that, I think that looks kind of cool, maybe you do too, I don't know, but <laughs> I kind of like how that's turned out to be honest, um, and it was like, it was only when we got that light done, I, I kind of thought, wow, that's cool. Like, you know, this is going well. All right, cool. So um, basically, that's why I haven't made Warhammer videos. That's my reasons, Your Honor. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in any of that, like, leave a comment. Maybe I will make a YouTube channel doing that stuff. I don't know. Um, but I'll, I will get back to doing uh, Warhammer stuff, basically. It's just right now I'm doing this and uh, getting a new job and that room's not sorted. So it's not happening right now. Okay, cool. Um, it's been nice speaking to you all. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe in case you're into this like weird mix of Warhammer channels where they're not making Warhammer, they're making vans for now. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, I hope you're all well. Thanks for watching. Peacetime painting slash vans. Cheers.